My name is Tim Bennix and this is a Turbo Tutorial. So in this quick tutorial, I want to show you how you can add schema.org and microdata to your Nuxt 3 application. Um, schema.org data is really important, right? You can actually get really nice search results in Google or other search engines when you say, hey, this is a blog post or this is my organization. And you can add all that enrichment data to your pages and everything gets better from it and it's quite simple to add so why not go into the computer and i'll show you how it's done so in vs code here this is a clean nuxt 3 um, install but i've added the nuxt schema org module and this module actually wraps the few use schema org um, functionality but makes it work in nuxt 3 with all the ease of use that you would want out of a module for Nux3. So the only thing you'd have to do for now, at least in my instance, I just add um, the host, the base host for the canonical URL and things like that are actually added here. And oh, by the way, I said canonical, but it's not actually using that. It uses this to concatenate other things inside the micro data. So basically let's go to app.view and let's have a look what I've added here to make this work. And so when you add this module, it injects a bunch of functions that you can use that are auto resolved. So if you want to actually set any sort of schema org stuff, you can do, use the composable use schema org. And there's a whole bunch of inputs that you can give in an array. And so for me, I'm actually defining the website and it's my for my press kit site, for example. And you can define a person, which is me with the icon that I have and my URL. And then you define a web page. And so those definitions together basically combine your schema.org microdata on a page. And of course you can do this with all the slugs and dynamically fill this up. Like if something is a blog post, you add some other stuff. And so how to do that, I'll show you in a sec. So let's first have a look at the browser of what came out of this. So I just have this page with friends because why not? And so here you can see the HTML and there's actually now a script tag with application slash LD plus JSON or JSON. And that's exactly what we want. This is our schema.org graph. And so when you open it, you see a whole bunch of things. So it actually took that timbenix.dev host and filled it up with a bunch of stuff here. So this is my press kit website, my publisher, and then there's an identity, which is me. And then this is a web page, and it actually grabs all the stuff that it needs from that to show on the page. And um, that's literally it. It's really simple. Right, and this makes that work. And before, this was a whole bunch of code you had to do. And there are some modules out there for Nux2 to do it as well. I know of a few that I use. And in Vue 3, you now use this one. It's really easy. So what if you have a blog or something else, or like a product or e-commerce stuff? Well, you can actually just go to the Vue Use Schema Org um, docs. And I just clicked on blog here. And you can literally just say, okay, let's define an article now. Right, and well, how about we do that? So let's just grab this stuff, right? So it has an image and all that other stuff. And so let's just say, you know what? Let's define an article. And I don't think we have to define a web page now because this is an article. Let's see what comes out. Okay, so application JSON. Here's my base schema. There's my person. And then, beam, here's our article, the type article, dates, titles thumbnail I just added all that stuff works magically and there's no longer like looking up what the specs say and concatenating it yourself this just works so that's what I wanted to show you today thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next turbo tutorial cheers